I'm Larry Troca, and today we're going to work this four-year-old gildan on a cow. There's a few things that I want to work on um, because he never was really finished. Um, his main issues are he wants to work with an elevated head, and so I want to lower his head while he's working a cow. The other thing that I want to do, he has a tendency to um, fire a little bit too hard and a little bit too quick before, it, before it's time. So I'll kind of hold him off that cow a little bit, make him a little bit late. Um, I also want to get more leg control on him. Uh, he doesn't have much leg control. I want to be able to um, ride him forward with my feet and when I quit riding, he should stop. Um, I want him between my legs. So if I use my right leg on him and bump him with it, he looks and goes to the left, usually to go to the cow. Same thing with my left leg. You know, if I bump him with that left leg, I want him to go to the right. And that having him right in between your legs allows you to either, you know, keep him up out of the herd or get him to fade off the cow more or to get him to hold up, stay up to the cow more. You know, to me, I think it's pretty important to have that leg control on a horse. So anyway, I'm going to work him. I've already loped him a little bit. He probably could use a little bit more loping, but we're not going to worry about it here. And I just got about six head of cattle in the arena here. I'm not going to use any turn back help. I've been working him for about, I don't know, a month. Uh, I've had him about a month. So he's already gotten quite a bit better. I'm going to use my left leg to make him go to the right, up to the cow, right leg to make him go up to the cow, take him across the cow. I quit riding and he stopped. He kind of bounced on that stop. I want him to be a little more serious about it. Good. I want him to come through these turns nose first. I don't want him coming shoulder first. These are all things. Now he's leaving the cow. I'm going to back him up. Watch how I, what I do. He's, he's left the cow. He's getting distracted by a horse we have out in the pasture here. So I'm going to take his head to the cow. I'm going to back him up. His body's straight. Now I'm going to use this leg to ask him to go to the cow. He's not going to the cow. So I pull him around. I'm going to use that left, that right leg. He's supposed to go to the, there we go. Now, I quit riding and he didn't stop good enough. So if I quit riding and he doesn't stop, good, I'm going to let him know he should have stopped. Quit riding, good, he stopped pretty hard. Use my herd side foot to take him to the cow. He's not going, pull him across. Left leg to take him across. He came shoulder first instead of nose first. So I back him up with his nose to the right when I'm getting the habit. Now lead him through nose first. Good. Back him up. I don't want him overreacting. Bring his nose in, back him up, lead him through nose first. Back him up. Have his nose in there, slack the reins, bring him nose first. There we go. Ride, quit riding. I quit riding and he didn't check his speed, so I park him into the ground. If I quit riding, he should at least check his speed, if not stop. Take him across the cow, right foot, back him up with his nose in there, left foot. Good. That time I quit riding, he hit the brakes. Back him up with the cow, get his nose in. Now right leg, left rein, take him across. Back him up, have his nose in toward the cow. Good. Now, I got his nose in there. I'm going to touch him with my left foot, which is my herd side foot. Ask him to go to the cow. Good. Now, he came all the way through. That's fine. That's fine. Touch him with my herd side foot. He's not going across. Oh, <laughs> we really hit the brakes there. Now watch what I do. We're working on that fence over there. I'm going to change fences. I want to go over here. So I'm going to change positions, back him up. I'm 
not stopping as good as he should right there. When I quit riding, he's supposed to hit the brakes. Now I'm gonna take him across the cow, ride, quit, ride. Back him up, take him across, hit the brakes, get his nose in there, ride, quit. Good. When we quit riding, he should bring his nose in toward the cow. I want him thinking about, take him to the cow with my herd side foot, touch, touch, touch. He's not going across like he should. He's getting distracted by the camera here, that's all right. Touch him with the herd side, there he goes. Perfect. Let him off that cow. Ride, quit riding. He didn't hit the brakes quick enough. Let him know, should have stopped. Bring his nose in, back him up, take him across the direct rein. Bring his nose in, take him across, quit riding. Ooh, nice. Nose is in there real nice. Beautiful. That was nice. So right there, those last couple turns, he waited a little longer than what he should have, which at this stage is fine. I touched him a little bit with the herd side foot to start him, to let him know, okay, you can go. And he came nose first, stayed low to the ground, and uh, maintained control. So where he's at in his training, considering I'm changing him, um, that was pretty darn good. I'm, I'm happy with that. So we're going to call it quits. You know, whenever you get something done uh, real good, you, know, you want to quit on a positive note, and uh, I'm pretty darn happy with that.